Hey folks, welcome to Play Branson, the show where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. I'm your host, Chris Meyer, and today's episode is brought to you by iBranson.com. It's the place where you can find all the latest Branson show schedules, attraction information, so be sure to go to iBranson.com. Our guest today is Rick Thomas. He's in a show and produces the show, runs the show called Mansion of Dreams. Now, it's located at the Mickey Gilly Grand Shanghai Theater at 3455 West 76 Country Boulevard. Now, it's been three years since Rick's been on this show, so I'm excited to have him back on today. He's a master entertainer. Um, we'll be right back with our guest, Rick Thomas. Hang tight. <music> There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. On today's show, I have the one and only master illusionist, Rick Thomas. Rick, welcome back to the show. You just told me off air that it's been three years. It has been. Oh man. It's, it time flies. It's about time, right? It is, oh. it is. Now, I will say two years ago, we had your wife on and that's a yeah. pretty good substitute. And then- <laughs> Ma last... Massive. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't know, she's actually from Zimbabwe and people melt when they hear her voice. Yes, yeah. and she's a great dancer. Anyway, and then last year, <laughs> last year we had one of your other dancers, we had Maggie on. So, you know, we do try to change it up, but welcome back to the show. And maybe somebody's watching this that They've never seen your show. They don't know who you are. So give people a little bit of history about your background. I decided to officially count how many shows I've presented. There's some shows in town who are saying, this is our, our 8,000 shows. This is this, this is that. And I went back to my, I started when I was 17. I went professional. I was a, a solo performer for Disney, performing at the Disneyland Hotel in California. And I, I, I began counting shows. And as of today, it's somewhere between 23 and 24,000 shows. That's a lot of shows. Uh, so if you don't know me, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've been out there. I've been busy. And I'm just, you know, now we've been in Branson 10 years. It's yeah. It's been an amazing ride. Three years ago, as you said, the interview, uh, we were last interviewed and I'm just, it it shocks me. It Life goes on, time, time moves forward and uh, I'm just glad I'm back. Yeah, so tell people a little bit about your journey from, you, you mentioned you're at Disney, and where, where did your career take you after that? Dirt, I was at Disney for about two years. Then I started touring and performing at fairs across the U.S. That's, um, you know, the California State Fair, New York State Fair, Ohio State Fair. Ohio State Fair is like the largest fair in the entire United States. So I started doing these shows and uh, presenting in their outdoor uh, stages and their arenas. One of the highlights of my career as a, an illusionist, I was in Pennsylvania doing the Pennsylvania State Fair and the management comes up to me and says, hey Rick, and I'm doing a day show, right? On this outdoor platform stage. And they said, uh, what are you doing this evening? And I said, well, I finished my three shows today. I think we're good. And they said, how would you like to open for the band Chicago? Oh wow. And I said, what? <laughs> and they said, tonight's opening act is not well. They can't do the show. And you're our, our main show on the grounds during the day. We want to stick you in front of Chicago. And I said, how many people are we talking? They go, about 12,000. Oh, wow. And as an illusionist, the best that you should ever try to attempt to perform in front of is like two or 3,000 people. Anything beyond that, they can't see. Mm. <laughs> you know, because magic's a very visual art form. And music... It's visual, but at the same time, the, the, what you hear audibly is what really carries a rock concert, right? So it was okay, and I was scared to death. So I went out there and couldn't believe I was actually performing in front of Chicago. 
And, uh, and I just told the audience, I said, look, you're here to see these guys. They're amazing. And they stuck me up here and I'm a magician and I'm going to do my very best to entertain you. And I said, and I've never had the chance, nor may I ever have the opportunity to stand in front of so many people. So I just screamed to the audience, how are you doing tonight? And they yelled back and screamed and I knew it was okay. And we moved mm -hmm. forward. It worked. Yeah. So that's yeah. the beginning. And then I went to perform on cruise ships and I started doing theaters across the world, casinos, ended up in Las Vegas with my show in Vegas for 15 years. 15 years. That's 15, a long run. 15 straight. Well, we're 10 years now in Branson. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm almost going like it's a bookend now. Yeah. Five more years and it's like, oh, my yeah. career uh, in, in two two major places. Um, I've been so And so blessed. how did how did you get from, like, what happened from Las Vegas to Branson? Like, what was the process there? Well, I actually was going to have a show open at a new hotel and resort in Las Vegas. And it was planned to open in about 2012. And uh, in 2008, when they began building the resort, which was a $4 billion resort, they had set aside some funds for my theater. And I, I'd already proven my worth, I guess, in Las Vegas. And I was, I was amazed. Nobody knew about it. It was like under the radar. Mm -hmm. The Rick Thomas was now going to create the largest grand illusion show ever. Uh, in comparison to Siegfried and Roy, et cetera, et cetera. So it was a big deal for me. And uh, the, uh, the challenges uh, financially in the markets at that time uh, crashed and the banks pulled out from the company, which was Boyd Gaming. Okay. And, and it left them literally stopping everything they did. And they mm. said, Rick, this, this hotel's not gonna happen. Mm. And I kind of curled up in a ball for like three months. And I have to admit to you, we're all human and we all go through some pretty challenging mm. times. You think that life for some of us, us, oh, Rick Thomas has got it all together. I put all my eggs in one basket and for a few months it was pretty rough. I'm, my brother's performing, Ross Thomas, he's performing over at the Orleans in Vegas with the Osmonds. And he mm. says, Jimmy Osmond wants to talk to you. Mm. And literally at that time I said, okay, I'll go over to the Orleans. And he pulls me up to his room and, and he says, Rick, have you ever thought about performing in Branson? And I said, what? What? <laughs> Bra where's Bra yeah, where's Branson? Know what Branson was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't mean to say it that way because I have fallen in love with this amazing place. Yeah. I am so glad to be here. My life is awesome in Branson. Yeah. And uh, so he said, look, it, we, we lost Andy Williams. He just passed on and uh, we have his theater here. Would you consider bringing your show in? And so we planned on being here uh, for a season and uh, brought the show in. And uh, before I knew it, um, Branson became home. In fact, this last year, we were asked yeah. to return to Las Vegas and reopen the show. Yeah. And it was a big, I talked to my wife, Tara, and I said, who, by the way, is the real star of the show. <laughs> Tara, she's a, and, uh, and you know, you saw the show this last yeah, week. Yeah, I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> she's, she's, she rocks the stage. She does, she does. And uh, I just, I, you know, I said, what do we do? And she said, what makes you most happy? Mm. And I said, where I am right now. And, and it's not that I don't love performing in Las Vegas. It's not that it's a, not a big part. It really is something that I truly enjoy, I embrace, and I love performing. I perform in Vegas about one month a year anyway when Branson kind of shuts right. its doors right. for the winter. But you, you've got to find your own peace, your own happiness, and, and that's what I did, and that's what we decided to do, and we're, yeah. we're sticking around. Yes, that's great. And, you know, Branson's a great place to live, and even if you go other places to perform, people... It's a, it's just a great community, you yeah. know. And and we lived uh, across the street from each other for a short amount of time. And I know you have this podcast. And it, I saw a headline the other day. It says, "Why do I mow my own lawn?" And I'm like, "Yes, I've seen you mow your own lawn." So yeah, I, I'm glad at least I'm telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not I, just I saying it. it for the podcast. Yeah, no, I was like, and I didn't listen to it, but I was like, yeah, I've seen I've seen Rick mow his lawn. So um, I tell you what, we. You've gotten all these magic awards. Yeah. Tell tell people some about about some of these awards because it's pretty amazing. Ah, first of all, I don't. I honestly, truly do not pursue awards. 
I, in fact, a lot of times they, they have magic conventions throughout the world, and I rarely go to the magic conventions where mostly those awards are given because I just don't fit in with magicians. They don't pay the bills. Did you know? Mm. <laughs> Magician, the public pay the bills, so I have yeah. to go out and perform for the public, and I just kind of don't fit in. I, I, I love being out there in front of the public, but these awards were given to me, and, and when they are, it's a surprise and it's appreciated. Uh, the highest award is um, Illusionist of the World from the World Magic Awards. That's pretty awesome. It is um, the highest award in our industry, and I can tell you this, uh, it is appreciated. It is an amazing award that I am grateful for, but I have awards here in Branson that are as important to me as that award given to me by my peers, mm. and that is um, Branson's Entertainer of the Year. There you go. In fact, this last year, uh, this is what I was given. I was shocked. Uh, I believe that they said, Rick, just so you know, out of the last five years, we've given you Entertainer of the Year three times. That's good. That's good. Isn't that hey. awesome? So I guess it means something. Yes. We're, we're going right. to, yeah, we're <laughs> going to stop right there. That's a great note, a great spot to end on, actually. And folks, we'll be back in just a second to talk more with Rick Thomas. Hang tight. Going to Branson for some relaxation and fun? You've got to stay with Branson's award-winning hotel family, Meyer Hotels. Meyer Hotels features four hotels in Branson with the best locations for your trip. Choose from brands you know and trust, like the Holiday Inn Express on Green Mountain Drive, the Best Western Centerpoint Inn, Comfort Inn at Thousand Hills, and the Comfort Inn and Suites. Enjoy refreshing indoor pools and hot tubs. Do you like free? How about a free hot breakfast each morning? free vacation planning services, and of course, smiles are always free. Want even more value? Go to MeyerHospitality.com and join our e-club to save 15% off your next stay and check out incredible deals with our vacation packages. Call 1-877-FUNSTAY to book Branson's award-winning hotels or visit MeyerHospitality.com. It's your safe choice for award-winning lodging in Branson. MeyerHospitality.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. We're here with Rick Thomas today. And if you watched the first segment, we were talking about his history. And so let's talk about your current show, The Mansion of Dreams, here in Branson. And tell, tell people what are they going to experience? What are they going to get if they come see your show? And of course, we want to know where it's at and all that fun stuff. Thank you. I, uh, I wanted the public, my patrons, my invited guests to feel very welcome in my show. So I created the Mansion of Dreams and I invite you in as guests to my home and share with you my home, different rooms within my mansion and how my dreams have become a reality and kind of tie it into you and, and make sure that the audience realizes as well how important it is for you to follow your dreams. Uh, the show itself called Mansion of Dreams, the theme of the show, nothing happens until you dream. Mm. It is at the Mickey Gilly Grand Shanghai Theater right here in Branson. I repeat again, the Mickey Gilly Grand Shanghai Theater. And it's bizarre to have those two names together. But when Mickey Gilly also passed on, uh, a gentleman from China, Mr. Tan, actually purchased the theater. He sold everything that he had in China. You know, I talk in my show about Tara leaving Zimbabwe. My wife's from Zimbabwe, and she flew all the way to Las Vegas to try out for shows. Mm -hmm. This man left everything he had in China because his dream was to own a theater in the United States. And when he came here, he had that grand opportunity to actually purchase the theater, and he promised that he would keep Mickey Gilly's name on the theater right. for what he did for him. Mm -hmm. So for me, that's a big deal, because everybody has a life, everybody has a story to tell, and this gentleman had his own dreams as well. So that's about the show. Now, today, the moment we finish, and by the time you listen to this and watch us here with the Vacation Channel, I'm actually rehearsing and putting in an effect where I wanted to really feel like it was all about Branson. And I, I love riding the motorcycles out in this area of the country. It, you have a lot of motorcycle groups. Man, it's, it's, they're everywhere. And so I, I, I drive the motorcycle literally down the, the Branson Strip so you see the motorcycle driving and the strip is flying by and it literally looks like I'm driving right down this and in the middle of it, I vanish and then I reappear in the audience and drive the motorcycle down through the audience. And I think that the key to this was, how do I tie this into Branson where everybody feels like they're, hmm. oh, I know that, oh, that's amazing. You know, there's one moment where we fly right next to like Andy's, that's a pretty famous place here in Branson. And I give a thumbs up, it's like Andy's come by I'm like, <laughs> 
there's your frozen yogurt. Mm -hmm. and then it goes past the Titanic and it goes past the Dettons, it goes past Clay Cooper and next thing you know, I vanished. And, and it really, it's, it's me, it's my way of saying, I love Branson. Mm. It's my way of saying, I, I know I've got a show, I know it's all about this amazing magic, but I needed to do something that really, this is it, yeah. this is it. So I'm, I'm gonna run over to the theater, we're gonna work on it just a little bit more and put it in this, uh, this weekend. That's gonna be awesome. And so I, I went to the show a couple of weeks ago now, and um, I'm always amazed. And, and you, 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 you have some stuff you keep in, but you're also changing stuff out like you just talked about. And so, you know, you had this card trick where you cut the card in half, the card deck in half, and then he puts it all back together. And I'm like sitting there going, that's crazy. And I mean, okay. so you do, you do close up magic, but then you also are doing big magic stuff <laughs> yes. as well. Huh. And um, one of my favorite things, quite honestly, is when you literally, can I, like, I guess I can yeah, say this, but literally, like you fly up into the air and down so fast, like, and you're like, I don't know how he does. I mean, but that's the whole point of magic is like, we don't know how you do it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, and what? it just creates wonder and awes and just mouths opening with nothing coming out. Right? No, I appreciate it. And that's what, magic's very fascinating because it's, I call it a, a negative art form or a reverse art form because when people watch magic, if you're good at it, you hide your talent. Right. And that's why people are stunned they like, because they don't know, to, if they see a juggler juggling uh, 10 pins, that's amazing, you know, and their hands are in front of them and they're applauding. When a magician makes something disappear or fly in the air, whatever it is, there's like their mouths just drop open. And when I fly in the air, the greatest moment, and I wish you could be with me as I fly in the air, is looking at the audience. Because the entire audience all at once are just exactly, it's like a mirrored effect with everyone in the audience. They're like, yeah, and like the whole audience is shocked. Yeah, I, when I put this in, and when I created this illusion, I, I created it over in Las Vegas. And Siegfried and Roy, uh, great entertainers, men who really put Vegas on the map, map as far as entertainment, they, they heard that I had come up with this illusion. This is my piece, and it's an original piece that I, I had built and created and worked out. And the maitre d', um, at the, the show starts, and the maitre d' um, calls backstage and says, uh, Siegfried and Roy have entered the building. Mm. And we knew the show had already started. And we knew they were there just to see this. And the moment they saw it, the next, the next thing you hear is the, the usher up front say, Siegfried and Roy have left the building. Yeah. <laughs> and the next morning, Roy called me and said, Rick, bravo, we had never seen anybody, as you put it, just walk across the stage and the next thing you're flying in the air yeah, and the next no. thing you're back on the ground right in front of the audience and uh it's, kudos to them it made me at that point pretty uh, feel pretty special when you had like the number one act in the world at that time give you a call and say hey you, you did pretty good yeah so um you've got another new gig happening now tell people about what you're also doing now uh, can I tell you honestly, there is a, a, a saying that I want everybody to remember and, and live by, and that is be careful what you wish for. Because sometimes um, it comes true, and then you find out how difficult it really is. I applaud you for taking on the Vacation Channel, uh, interviewing all of uh, the entertainers, and, and all the work that this takes to pull this off. Uh, I decided to go beyond my magic and take the on-air invisible waves behind the radio and, and become an on-air personality. And I am now uh, on air with my 100.1 right here in Branson, Saturdays from 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. They gave me three hours. Three hours. Oh, that is... Anyway, I just want to tell you now, uh, it's three hours of uh, air time and a, like 40 hours of behind the scenes. So join me and uh, enjoy the journey with me as I become an on-air disc jockey and entertain you. And I share with you my life and your life as well. I find people throughout uh, Branson who have succeeded and followed their dreams. Not just entertainers in Branson, I mean everybody. Mm. And I want people to come on and chat with these individuals and find out how they made it uh, in their lives and how they made Branson 
the wonderful place we live now. Now, where and, they can go online and stream you as well, right? Yeah, that's uh, mykomc.com. That's m y k o m c dot com. Now that's online on the web. You can also go to Facebook, and you can go to Rick Thomas Magic. So it's facebook.com slash Rick Thomas Magic, and you can literally follow me online. And then we do we do a lot of um, questions and talking to each other that's not on the air that we can do online. And now I, that's hard. Now I've got the airtime and I got people yeah. on, the, on streaming and they threw this at me all at once. So if you want to see a guy floundering and you can actually visually see me as well, you can watch, <laughs> you can watch the stream while I'm on the air. I just, you know what, I'm, it's been 10 years, 10 year anniversary in Branson and it's great to do something beyond my magic. And uh, I count my blessings out here, I really do. Yeah. Um, you also have a podcast. Give people the website for your podcast. Wow. Well. My podcast is nothinghappensuntilyoudream.com. Mm -hmm. Nothinghappensuntilyoudream.com. A wonderful NBC uh, news anchor out in Hollywood, Tammy Trujillo, gave me a call and she said, Rick, I've read your book, The Tiger Whisker, and this needs to be heard across the world. I'm like, what? And she goes, Will you co-host with me your podcast and create this amazing story in a podcast? And uh, it, she, she did it. Without her, without her calling me and pulling this off, it wouldn't have happened. And it's now an award-winning podcast. Yeah. So lots going on with Rick oh, Thomas. Oh, too, um, mu too much. Here, here's the deal, folks. I'm going to tell you something is... Rick's done this for, what did you ever, you said 20 some odd thousand shows and you can tell it. And he has a unique, not only his tricks, but it's the way you interact with the audience. You know when to deliver the words at the right time. And, and so that's why he gets these uh, Entertainer of the Year awards and this Magician of the Year and all these awards. And so if you haven't seen his show, go see his show. Tell people where it's at again and give them some times if you remember. It's at the Mickey Gilly Grand Shanghai Theater. Right now, throughout the summer, we're doing six days and nights a week, sometimes during the week. Uh, it's a two o'clock show. I know Saturdays is a 7.30 show. Sunday, we're doing even a Sunday show for families. That's at two o'clock. And I can tell you, asking me why the show works in that fashion is that I pretend that the audience is my family. I mm -hmm. want everybody to feel like they're family. My mother forced me to perform at family reunions. And it was the most awful experience. <laughs> and so I pretend that everybody in the audience is family and I treat you like family. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. No, when I, I push buttons, right? I push buttons mm -hmm. and, uh, and I just, it's a blast. And if you, you, you talk to the people as though you're family, it's different than the, the entertainer on stage with a, a brick wall between you and your audience and there's no communication. Yeah. And I fight, I fight as hard as I possibly can to break that barrier and let you realize that if you're fooled in the process and that's, then the magic does what it's supposed to do, great. But I want you to, to leave knowing that that last two hours was a relationship that you'll never forget. Folks, go see Rick Thomas. We'll be back in just a second to wrap the show up. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We've been talking to Rick Thomas today with the Mansion of Dreams. Now, his show schedule is typically Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 7.30, and then Thursday, Friday, and Sunday at 2 p.m. Now, that schedule does change throughout the season, so you'll wanna check his show schedule for specific dates. Once again, he's located at the Mickey Gilly Grand Shanghai Theater. Rick also has his own podcast, and he's now on the radio on Saturdays at 100.1 FM here in the Branson area. You can listen on your radio dial. You can stream it. You can do all of that stuff. Next week, our guest, I'm really looking forward to this guest, is Michael Knight. He has a brand new show in town called MJ The Illusion. It's located over at the Raise Alive Theater. You'll want to catch our next episode to find out more 
about this new show in Branson. Now, if you need help planning your Branson vacation, be sure to visit ibranson.com or call those folks at 1-877-ENTERTAIN. You can find the latest show schedules, attractions, and lodging options on ibranson.com. There's still time to get here before the end of the summer season. Did you know you can also find us on all the social media channels, Facebook, YouTube. Be sure to go to our YouTube page and subscribe to it. You'll never miss an episode. Um, and it's YouTube at Play Branson. Um, here's the deal, folks, and we say this every week, but music is always better live. So go see some live music this week. Oh, 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 o